Imagine if you could, just for a moment, get close to the sun. How close could you go without turning into a puff of smoke? The sun, that blazing star at the heart of our solar system, burns brightly with a surface temperature of around 5,000 degrees Celsius. It's a place of raging nuclear fusion, where hydrogen atoms smash together to create helium, releasing an unimaginable amount of energy in the process. On average, we're about 93 million miles away from this fiery ball of gas. That's a comfortable enough distance to enjoy its light and warmth without being incinerated by its fierce heat. But what if we wanted to get closer? What if we dared to push the boundaries of our technological abilities and venture nearer to this celestial furnace? It seems like a simple question, but the answer is far from straightforward. So let's embark on this journey together and discover just how close we can get to our sun. The sun, our closest star, is a fiery ball of gas with temperatures reaching millions of degrees at its core. The sun's surface, known as the photosphere, is a mere 5,500 degrees Celsius, while the corona, the outermost layer, astonishingly soars to a scorching one to three million degrees. Imagine a furnace, but millions of times hotter. That's what we're dealing with here. Now let's talk about its composition. The sun is primarily made up of hydrogen, around 75% to be precise. The remaining quarter is mostly helium, with traces of heavier elements like oxygen, carbon, neon, and iron. This blend of elements undergoes a process called nuclear fusion, where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. It's this energy that fuels the sun's intense heat and light. But how does this relate to our quest of getting close to the sun? Well, the heat and radiation from the sun form an environment that's utterly inhospitable to humans. To put it into perspective, the highest temperature ever recorded on Earth was 56.7 degrees Celsius in Death Valley, USA. Compare that to the sun's photosphere. We're talking about a temperature almost a hundred times hotter. Even with the most advanced heat-resistant materials we have today, they would disintegrate long before reaching the sun. For example, the heat shield of NASA's Parker Solar Probe which is designed to withstand temperatures up to 1,400 degrees Celsius, would barely survive a brush with the sun's photosphere, let alone the exponentially hotter corona. Beyond the physical limitations, there's also the matter of radiation. The sun constantly emits high-energy particles which, without the protection of Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field, can be harmful even deadly to humans and technology alike. So approaching the sun is like walking into a furnace, but what if we could withstand the heat? Human beings can't survive close to the sun, but what about our technological marvels, our spacecraft? We've been bold enough to send missions towards the sun. One of the most famous is the Parker Solar Probe, launched by NASA in 2018. This daring explorer is on a seven-year mission to touch the sun, or at least come as close as human technology will allow. Now you're probably wondering, how does this spacecraft not just melt into a puddle of molten metal? The answer is in the design. The Parker Solar Probe is equipped with a heat shield known as the Thermal Protection System. This marvel of engineering is made of two panels of superheated carbon-carbon composite, sandwiching a lightweight 4.5-inch thick carbon foam core. This shield can withstand temperatures up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, while keeping the spacecraft's payload at a comfortable room temperature. Then there's the Solar Orbiter, a mission by the European Space Agency and NASA, launched in February 2020. It's designed to endure intense solar radiation while capturing the closest images of the sun ever taken. The solar orbiter is covered with a heat shield coated with a thin layer of titanium nitride. This gives it a golden hue, but more importantly, it reflects and scatters the sun's damaging radiation. The shield also has openings for the spacecraft's scientific instruments, allowing them to peek out and gather data without getting fried. But let's not forget about the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency's Solar B mission now known as Hainodi. Launched in 2006, it's designed to investigate the sun's magnetic field and how it's generated. Hainodi has been orbiting the sun for over a decade, thanks to its heat-resistant materials and clever design. So, while it's true that we can't send a spacecraft directly into the sun, we're getting closer all the time. Our spacecraft are becoming more heat-resistant, more durable, and more capable of withstanding the sun's punishing environment. Even our most advanced technology can only get so close, but it's closer than any human could ever dream of. Beyond the searing heat, the sun presents another challenge, its magnetic field. This invisible force is not just a simple bar magnet, 
It's a dynamic complex system that constantly changes, driven by the sun's internal movements. The sun's magnetic field is, in fact, a bit of a celestial enigma. Unlike the Earth's relatively stable magnetic field, the sun's field is constantly shifting and changing. This is because the sun is not solid, but a ball of plasma, charged particles that move and generate magnetic fields. This constant motion and change create what scientists call a magnetic dynamo, a process that causes the sun's magnetic field to flip approximately every 11 years. Yes, you heard that right, the sun's magnetic north and south poles switch places roughly every decade or so. Now why is this important for spacecraft? Well, the sun's magnetic field extends far out into space creating a magnetic bubble around our solar system. This bubble is known as the heliosphere, and it protects our solar system from interstellar radiation. However, the sun's magnetic activity can also create solar storms, which are sudden intense increases in brightness observed over the sun's surface. These storms can release bursts of energetic particles into the solar wind, which can then travel towards Earth. When these particles reach Earth, they can wreak havoc on our technology. They can cause power grid failures, disrupt satellite communications, and pose a significant risk to astronauts, including those aboard spacecraft headed for the Sun. Scientists and engineers have to account for these risks when designing and operating spacecraft. They use advanced computer models to predict the Sun's magnetic activity, helping to guide spacecraft safely through this magnetic maze. But despite our best efforts, the Sun's magnetic field remains a formidable challenge. Its unpredictable nature makes it a difficult obstacle to overcome, a constant reminder of the Sun's raw and untamed power. The Sun's magnetic field is a maze that even our best navigators struggle to traverse. It's a testament to the Sun's awe-inspiring complexity, a challenge we continue to face as we explore the final frontier. So, how close can we really get to the Sun? Let's take a moment to recap. We've journeyed through the Sun's intense heat, a fiery furnace that reaches millions of degrees. We've navigated the complex labyrinth of the Sun's magnetic field, a maze that can wreak havoc on spacecraft. And we've brushed up against the limits of our current technology, pushing our machines and our understanding to the very edge. We've come a long way since the first inklings of curiosity about our celestial neighbor. Today, our spacecraft, like those of the Parker Solar Probe mission, can approach within 4 million miles of the Sun's surface. That's closer than Mercury's orbit, and it's an incredible feat of human ingenuity. Now, let's gaze into the future. As technology advances, we'll push the boundaries even further. The next generation of solar exploration may take us within a breath's distance of the Sun, relatively speaking. We might even send robots to withstand the heat and radiation, providing us with unprecedented data and images. But it's not just about getting close. It's about understanding. It's about unraveling the mysteries of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. It's about learning how the sun's activity affects our planet's climate and our own technological systems. It's about protecting our astronauts from harmful solar radiation as they journey to Mars and beyond. The sun is more than a glowing orb in the sky. It's a source of life a cosmic puzzle, and a symbol of the unquenchable human thirst for knowledge. Our journey to the sun is a testament to our curiosity, our resilience, and our limitless potential. So, while we may not be able to touch the sun, we're getting closer all the time. Each mission, each discovery, brings us a step closer to the sun's fiery heart. And with each step, we learn more about our place in the cosmos. While we may not be able to touch the sun, our quest for knowledge keeps pushing us closer than ever before.